Okay, hello, hello YouTube. Uh, this is tutorial number 16. I've uh, finally counted them, and it is the 14th of July 2010 on a Wednesday at 5:51 p.m. UK time. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the soda machines from Half-Life 2. So I've placed a soda machine down in a basic little box room, and the entity you're going to need is an ENV underscore shooter. So let's place that down there, your soda machine, and go to the properties. Okay. Name, change this to shooter underscore zero one. And the gib direction. Uh, you are just going to take that in the top down view, this little dial, whatever direction this white line is pointing is the direction in which they'll be thrown out in the top down view. So if I point it down, they'll be thrown out downwards in the top down view. So that's going to be 270 for that one. The number of uh, gibs is going to be 1. Delay between shots, um, that's about 3 seconds. Doesn't matter. Gib lost velocity, I'm going to set that to 50. The gib life, I'm going to set that to 20 seconds. Lighting origin doesn't matter. Now you need to choose the model. Here we go. Model. Browse and search for, oh, not soda, it is pop for a pop can, one of these, Dr. Breen's private reserve. Yeah. You can have red or yellow, but I'm going to have blue. Um, apply that. Change simulate to physics. <coughs> and the material sound to metal. Okay, and in the flags, uh, tick repeatable, and that's it. Done. So what you're going to want to do now is align this up with the little thing on the soda machine. So once that is in there like that, then that's fine. So um, now you have that, you are going to set up a funk underscore button by using the invisible texture. Set up a little funk underscore button. Over these. Which is, obviously, the buttons. And you made that and press Control T. Tie that to a funk underscore button, obviously. Change that to button, in case you need to. Um, go to flags and do don't move. Tick that. Okay, apply, go to the outputs, go add, on pressed, shoot underscore zero one, shoot, and then you can test that. So I'm just going to place down an info underscore player underscore start, chuck one of those down. Ugh. Rotate him a bit. Like so. Up to grid size again. And just add a roof onto this place as well. So all I'm gonna do is just drag this one up. Control I and I have a ceiling as well. And I just want to light in here because I like my lighting. So yeah, whatever. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, brightness pick colour, so just a light yellow as always for me. Apply that, change the brightness to about 50 as always. Maximum distance, set that to 300 units. And you are ready to compile this, so I'm just going to go to... Wait, is that vending machine hovering off the floor? No, it isn't. Good. And you're just going to run map. So I'm just going to save it as soda. Compile that. So I thought it saw a leak, but I uh, didn't. It's other, oh, there. Uh, nothing there. Okay. And I'm just going to go in game and test this. Um, subscribe me if you like my background. Because, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome, eh? And um, I will just see you in game in a few seconds. Okay, here we are in game, and uh, I'm just going to test this uh, map. Okay, the vending machine is there. Uh, 
and it gives me a can. Yay! It has a three second delay between pressing. Um, so this should disappear after 20 seconds. So um, I'm just going to watch this for a second. It may sound boring, but whatever. Disappear. <sighs> oh well, it works. Now you can as well, once you have the button sorted. And once you have this vending machine set up, you can also set the button to play the sound of the coin slot, the cha-ching sort of thing. But, um, yeah, I can show you how to do that if you want. If you want me to, just let me know. Um, but yeah, this is tutorial number 16. Not the most advanced tutorial, but a tutorial nonetheless. So, I will see you in tutorial number 17. Goodbye.